There was a news story that got a little heat yesterday, but once again, everyone completely missed the point. If you haven't heard, there was another steaming pile of wisdom coming from the brainiacs on The View. Sonny Hostin was shocked to hear that suburban women do not want to kill their own children, and most of them believe the Republicans have their best interest. She lost her mind and can't possibly understand why women have an opinion that is different from hers. Don't they know who she is? She's on The View and therefore important or something. Republicans, but what's also surprising to me is the abortion issue. Um, I read a, a poll just yesterday that white Republican suburban women are now going to vote Republican. Why? It's almost like roaches voting for raid, right? It's, it's I think like that's they're insulting. voting, no, it's insulting they're voting to the against, voter. We, they're we, voting no, against no. their own self-interest. Do they want to live in Gilead? Okay, do so do we love in the hands? Do we love tail? democracy or not? Because just saying that it's it's insulting to the voter. People make up decisions on what's right for their family. And they it's safe to say that the women on the View, save for the token conservative, I don't know much about her. She's new, so I'll reserve judgment. But most of the women are screeching Democrats and will support a Democrat no matter what. Vote blue no matter who, even if he gropes children. Secret trading with the enemy, can't form sentences, gets lost on stage, has a long history of racism, been caught withholding foreign aid unless prosecutors are fired, selling strategic oil to prop up gas prices before an election, directs the FBI to hide evidence from family members committing crimes. Uh, wait, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, The View. Uh, sorry about that. So Sonny Hostin says, quote, I read a poll just yesterday that white Republican suburban women are now going to vote Republican. It's almost like roaches voting for raid. Oof. That one sentence could be the logo for the new Democrats. Let's break it down. White, racist, suburban, segregation, women, Sexist, cockroaches, dehumanizing, voting for raid, suicidal? They think all Republicans are evil. Or stupid. If you don't agree with them, then you're stupid. Or is she hinting you're suicidal? We just don't want to kill our children. And have better gas prices and not be reliant on foreign states. But we're the evil ones? Okay, sure thing, Sonny. But let's get into the part that everyone missed. Remember back about six years ago, give or take, Hillary called Republicans deplorable and unredeemable. She openly called about half of the country pathetic losers who were not worth her time. Deplorable. Worse than garbage. Well, it's no surprise that regular people didn't like that. Even many average Democrats thought that was just way over the line. I'm convinced that the one speech did more to hurt her campaign than anything about that memo Comey released. So Democrats call people awful names, and then they lose. Recently, Biden called Trump supporters ultra-mega-extremists. You remember the red speech. A danger to democracy. Lots of other things. Well, damn it, wouldn't you know, calling half the country out as un-American didn't play well with the country. Biden's approval numbers kept dropping, and Democrats seeking election for the midterms have requested that Biden stop supporting them. He isn't being invited to many or any campaign events. Well, except for Lurch Fetterman. That dude is so awful, he'll take any help he can get. And he certainly can't recognize, he doesn't have the brain power anymore to understand that Biden is not helping his disastrous run for the Senate. So now Sonny Hostins is calling white women cockroaches. Let that marinate for just a moment. Sonny, whose actual name is Asuncion Cummings, Puerto Rican mom, African-American dad, so Person of color is what we're supposed to call her, I think. Is this a racist hate crime against white people? Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, excuse me. Is this a sexist racist crime against white women? Just switch it around. Would you call another race a disgusting, garbage-eating, infesting pest and expect to be uncanceled five minutes from now? 
So the prominent Democrats keep calling giant portions of the country just horrible things. And they are constantly surprised when people turn around and support the things that they told you not to. The point that everyone is missing is that Democrats are predictable. When they're losing, they strike out with the most hurtful words they can think of. But it always fails. It always drives people away from them and into the warm and welcoming arms of the conservative Republicans. I think Einstein said it best. Insanity. Doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results. <laughs> they never learn. I say keep it up. Sonny and everyone like her are purposefully driving the country apart. But the Republican Party is growing stronger. So do you think it'll ever stop? You can't bully people into following your beliefs. Or can you? Is she correct? Do you think calling women cockroaches will change anyone's mind? Seriously, let me know. I'm sure, I'm sure you have some opinions on this one. After that, do the like and subscribe thing if you want to hear more. I got another video coming later, so I'll see you soon.